Hey you guys, this is Nina. Like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. And please hit that share button. Like this video, share this video. You guys, let's just get this trending. Tonight, you guys, we're going to be talking about a Jesse Smalley update. So, welcome, welcome, welcome. I have to give it to you guys, too. So, this information is, according to TMZ, um, this is going to be my update on Jesse Smollett. If you go back into my video history, um, I've already made a, a video concerning about how I feel about him. However, let's just get started. So, according to TMZ, Jesse Smollett thanks the nationwide protest over George Floyd's killing in police custody relates specifically to his own case with the city of Chicago because he claims the city is trying to cover up for lying police. Now, to tell you the truth, I've seen the video. Um, I've been trying to analyze it. And to tell you the truth, I don't think that there is a cover-up. I think he's trying to do every and anything he can to just get out of this. Um, it is more than apparent that he had a finger in the situation, in my opinion. And really, I cannot truly blame the police for this. So, this former Empire star is still in a battle with Chicago, whom is suing him for $130,000 to recover the cost of investigating what they call a fake attack. Now, I will say this. This is one of the instances where... If you're rich, you got cash, they'll investigate. And I say that because for them to sink that much cash, and literally this investigation was only a few days. They put all these extra uh, police officers onto this. Um, you know, I just wish that they would have investigated other real crime going on in Chicago at that time. Remember that this happened that night of that polar vortex. Um, so now Jesse Smollett says he wants information the city is refusing to hand over. Now, as uh, millions across the country are rising up to protest and expose police misconduct, the city of Chicago is refusing to produce the requested documents, according to Smollett. Um, and they are choosing to actively resist a citizen's lawful efforts to reveal dishonesty. Now, this has to actually do with the termination of Chicago PD head superintendent Eddie Johnson, who was the head police officer at the time of this crazy incident. Um, he was involved talking about Eddie Johnson, he was involved in the case from the get-go, so his firing is relevant to Jesse's defense. Um, however, I don't know if it was just directly his fault. Like I said, looking at all the various uh, documents of what happened that night, I actually cannot blame uh, the police for this. I think more of the hindrance is on Jesse, and this is why I say this. Two extras uh, from Empire said that Jesse told them to specifically buy things from a store. Those two people were later the people seen allegedly attacking him uh, from a video um, that was down the street after Jesse went to like a subway at like 2 in the morning in Chicago. Now, the issue stems from... How are they attacking you? They literally bought the stuff that Jesse asked them to buy, and now you're saying the Chicago police did something to you. I mean, just make this make sense. Um, the city of Chicago is maintaining 
that Smollett is lying to the cops and not Johnson, whom was the police superintendent. And they are opposed to Jesse's request. Jesse Smollett, of course, is maintaining his innocence, though adding the city and Chicago Police Department knew Smollett was innocent and that the city is just relentlessly pursuing this even after the charges against Jesse uh, were dismissed. And I know that you guys remember this, that the prosecutor at the time dropped all charges literally out of the blue. But a new six-count indictment was passed down in February. So this is still in the matter of a court. I would like to know what you guys think about this case. I would like for you guys to tell me, do you think that Jesse is being set up or do you think he set himself up? I really want you guys to respond to this because this case is just all the way over to the left at this point. Um, I actually did not know that this was actually still going on, but it is. Um, so again, share your comments, like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to donate. My cash app is money symbol Nina44132. Until the next episode, you guys, enjoy your evening.